No, Miss, Miss Abby. I'm speaking of your nephew's unfortunate connection with the theater. Oh, come in, Mr. Hello, Miss Brewster. How do you do, Mr. Clyde? Hello, Miss Brewster. <laughs> What news have you brought me? Colonel, we have nothing to report. Splendid. Thank you, gentlemen. Eddie's. You do know Dr. Harper. Sure. Hello, Dr. Harper. We've come from the toys for the Christmas fun. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's splendid work you make, what men do. Fixing up discarded toys to give poor children a happier Christmas. Well, it gives us something to do while we sit around the station. You get tired of playing cards. You start cleaning your gun, next thing you know, you've shot yourself in the foot. <laughs> well, can't you take a hint? No. That was pretty obvious. <laughs> a lack of inventiveness, I should say. <laughs> Hello, Mortimer. Hello, oh, Mr. President. How are you? Oh, bully, thank you. Just bully. What news have you brought me? Oh, well, only this, Mr. President. The country, see? It is squarely behind you. Yes, I know. Isn't it wonderful? Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, where are you off to, Teddy? Panama. <laughs> Speaking of which, I left a large envelope around here about last week. It had my first chapter on my book on Thoreau. Have you seen it? Well, if you left it here, it will be here somewhere, dear. What are your plans? When are you to be married? There must be something more you can tell us about Elaine. Elaine? Oh, yes, Elaine thought it was brilliant. What was, dear? My chapter on the road. Well, when Elaine returns, I think we ought to have a little celebration. We should drink to your happiness. Martha, don't we have some of that Lady Baltimore cake, sir? Oh, yes! Yeah. And I'll open a bottle of wine. Oh, oh. And to think it happened in this room.
have 13 bodies in the cellar? But there are 13 bodies in the cellar. Who are you? I'm President Roosevelt. What the hell is this? He's the guy that blows the fuse. Good morning, Colonel. <laughs> That's the last people you'll ever blow, Colonel. We weren't going to tell you, but you're a man now, and, and everything has its right to know. You see, Mortimer, you're not really a Brewster. <laughs> you see, your mother came to us as a cook, and you were born about three months later. But she was such a lovely woman and such a wonderful cook, we didn't want to lose her. So, brother married her. I'm not really a Brewster. Now, don't take it too hard, dear. And Elaine, it won't matter to you. Uh, do you understand, Elaine? Uh, I'm a bastard! <laughs> <laughs> you don't see much elderberry wine nowadays. We make it ourselves. Oh. I thought for sure I had my last glass of it. Oh, oh no, no, no. Here it is. <laughs>